this is going to be a fun one what's good spurs clan today we're talking about joshua primo's jump shot i wanted to try to break down his jump shot and relay information to you guys on what i've been seeing um as far as his shooting now i have to be completely real with you guys and this might sound hyperbolic but look i, I just got to be real the more i watch joshua primo the more I realized that he could potentially end up being a very good scorer for years on end. If he can keep this up, if he can keep being consistent in the way that he's approaching the game, he can be very, very effective. Now, I took some notes here. I took quite, quite a few notes here, so bear with me. I'm gonna be looking down at my notes sometimes. I'm gonna try my best not to get lost. Oh, one take, baby. That's what we do here. That's what we do. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and go. All right, so Joshua Primo. We're going to talk about a few different aspects. We're going to talk about his bottom half. Uh, we're going to talk about his mentality. We're going to talk about his top half. And we're going to talk about the flow of his shot. So let me go ahead and slow this down. And we'll start with actually the most important thing when it pertains to a jump shot. I actually want to start back here. Now, I don't know if you guys watch um ray allen uh ray allen's art of basketball but in ray allen's art of basketball he talked about shooting and one thing that he said and he constantly brought up is that the most important part of a shooter is the bottom half when he was shooting and he was working on his spin when he was working on his release he did all that from the free throw line he actually said that when he missed shots he knew it was because his bottom half wasn't on point and he had to work on that so josh primo so bottom half he is making sure that he's maximizing as much power as he can as possible now this is basically basketball one-on-one -on -one. i know some of you guys probably heard all this stuff before but he's making sure that right leg is ahead this is because this is his shooting side he's making sure that this right leg is ahead and that kind of relieves any tension that he could have on his shoulders that really helps him with his power and that really helps him maximize much power as he can and as ray allen said that's the most important part to a shooter and when you can get that space up in the air like that that really really helps all right looking back at my notes ah uh his feet so we're still on the bottom half his feet his feet are tilt and he's making sure his his personal jump shot um, and this can this can differ from person to person so i don't think it really matters but the way that he did it is he's making sure that he has a wide range uh between his feet so uh, this kind of gives him the opportunity to kind of get comfortable when it pertains to creating space um and this gives him a little bit more uh leeway when it comes to um, where he wants to shoot because if he's already accustomed to having his legs out or having his legs pretty wide apart, he can very well kind of adjust in any given situation. Another thing to notice uh, about his bottom half is that he's making sure that his body and his feet and his legs are tilt at the exact same time. So he's making sure everything he catches, he makes sure that he's ready, everything turns at the same time. That makes him a very effective shooter. Now, what's most impressive about this is I haven't seen him differ from this shot mechanic at all. Even when he's getting guarded, I have not seen it differ at all. He's been pretty consistent with how he approaches in that regard. So I hope that that was coherent enough as far as the bottom half. So let's go ahead and talk about the mentality. So how is he approaching the game? Now, a lot of times with young players, what they do is they have a hard time finding the basket <laughs> let's just be honest and he finds the basket early so what do i mean by that he's keeping his eyes on the basket as long as he possibly can now we got accustomed to people like steph curry who will shoot the ball and just like run down the court and celebrate and I, it's fun to watch but in reality not everybody can will be able to do that now when it comes to uh your boy joshua primo this is just great practice right here this is making sure no matter what he is engaged he's doing it as soon as he catches the ball he's keeping his eyes on the basket as long as he possibly can after he shoots he's keeping it on there too he's not thinking about the next shot 
he's thinking about that shot and he's thinking about his form and he's focusing in on his form that's the most important thing to joshua primo when he's a pre when he's approaching practice um it's all about form to him it's all about mechanics and it's all about consistency and in a world of inconsistency with the spurs it is pretty nice to see a pure shooter let's just be real okay so that's the mentality that's kind of how he's approaching it and you love it also he's very prepared he's making sure that his hands are wide open and that he has his fingertips on the ball when he gets into his triple threat so that's perfect as well now let's talk about everything else all right we're going to talk about um the the top half and we're going to talk about a little bit of his flow so let's go ahead and talk about uh the top half so this is one thing that i that i've noticed um and this is like really now this is really basketball one-on-one okay uh nothing special here but he's perfected like i said he's making sure that the ball is low and why do shooters make sure the ball is low is because they can have the most momentum like i said earlier you got to maximize your power so with him maximizing the power with his legs he also has to do it with his arms as well so he's having that launch area and one thing that i've noticed that's really good with his shot and one thing that somebody like kyle anderson kind of get heat for is that he's super fast i mean he, he has a super fast release so let me go ahead and put it on normal just so, so you can kind of see the speed of his release let me back it up just a little bit he's really quick with it he's not taking a long time to wind it up he squares his body like i said well not squares his body but he makes sure that his feet and his body are both turning at the same time and you can basically see it at most in this one i wish these were a little bit longer but he's doing it very quickly and he released bang bang like he, he's really good at it he's really quick with it and that just shows how much practice have uh come behind that so that's that's stupid impressive i love to see it you love to see it and yeah that's just basically what that is in that regard so let me slow it back down there we go all right okay now next what are we going to talk about we're going to talk about uh the spin on the ball he's making sure and this is probably one of the most important things it's one of the most important things for any um shooter he's making sure that his guide hand is uh square with the ball um and with that i know that that's like really like simple stuff and it kind of looks like and it's really hard to tell and i've really been trying to pay attention but it kind of looks like what he's using which a lot of shooters use this but it looks like he's really utilizing his ring finger when it comes to spin on the ball um so with his guide hand being square with the basket and his uh ring finger is really helping him get as much spin on the ball as possible another thing too uh to notice is when i was talking about him launching the ball and i meant to uh mention this is that he brings the ball down and one thing that some players kind of have a hard time with especially young players is they have the ball too close to their body he's making sure he has enough space between him and the ball and that just gives you even a little more room um to do what you need um as far as your uh release is concerned but yeah he's just making sure that he has enough space between him and the ball and even his leg position uh, which um you know kind of goes with that as well it, it just all comes together as a really beautiful looking shot so that's where i'm going with with the flow so why does it look so good it's because every single thing on joshua primo is in sync he's really really worked at this i, I know i feel i sound like a broken record but dude it is incredible because every single shot i've seen from him thus far has been the exact same shot and i know that that seems like oh you know clan whatever you know but you think about somebody like markel fultz he had a really hard time with some of these mechanics and one thing in particular was that having the ball go down and launching it up sometimes he have it at his chest sometimes his his guide hand wasn't square with the basket but when you look at joshua primo every single thing is perfectly in sync his power is there he's launching the ball at perfect distance he's he's his eyes are continuously on the basket he doesn't let he doesn't let up he's finding the basket and he's engaging he's making sure every single aspect of his body is in sync 
and it's just a beautiful sight to see. Not to mention the spin on the ball is nearly perfect and the arc on the ball is nearly perfect because of what he's doing with his power and because of what he's doing with, let's just be real, the, the momentum that he's putting on it. Every single thing that he's doing is, is great. So that's kind of my breakdown of what I'm seeing from Joshua Primo. All of his basic basketball things are are there, man. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's all there. Um, you know, I'm really trying to work on uh, new content just to kind of, you know, break some things down a little bit better for you guys. Let me know if it made sense, if it was comprehensive, if it wasn't, if I needed to go even more into depth or I, I, I'm just stupid. That's fine. I am pretty stupid. I'm not stupid. You're stupid. Anyways, um, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me if you liked it um, and if you are high on Joshua Primo like like I am. Also, almost forgot, man. I always forget this, dude. I'm I'm such a I'm such a humble lad. Uh big shout out to Paul F and Daniel. These are the newer uh patrons for becoming patrons. I really appreciate it, guys. Um if anybody else wants to support the channel, it's only two dollars per month. Link in the description for that. But yeah, man. Um I'll be real with you guys. I'm excited. I'm also exhausted. <laughs> It's super late right now, me making this video. Super exhausted. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm at right now. What what was this video about? I don't know. I'll give it to you guys later. Uh, Till next time, man. Deuces. I don't know.